Hello and welcome everyone to Davina's Night In for Action Medical Research for Children. I'm waiting for my week. <laughs> it's so great to be here this evening. We're so excited to bring you this virtual event supported by Next. We're going to be joined by the divine Davina McCall real shortly. But before we do, let me tell you a little bit about what you can look forward to this evening. As well as having Davina and a couple of special guests pop by, you can join in the fun by sending us your questions for Davina using the chat button below. Or you can share pictures of you celebrating on Instagram or Twitter. Just tag Action Medical Research and hashtag Davina's Night In. Now there are some amazing prizes to be won in a star prize draw, including a designer handbag, an online auction where you can bid on some fantastic items. I've actually got my uh, eye on a couple for some Christmas presents because I've not started any Christmas shopping yet. Now guys, we'll be having a chat about the auction later, but do check it out. You can find the link on the webpage or just go to jumblebee.co.uk slash Davina. Now without further ado and through the magic of television, let's have the lady herself join us. So we're all waiting to hear from. She's the star of our screens. Please clap and cheer from your sofas and welcome Davina McCall. Hey Davina, oh my God. Hi. you're live on TV. Please do not swear. Oh, I know. Sorry, you've heard that. To. I have a couple of times, yes, but um, it is slightly better than what people used to shout at me after Lee Francis did it on Bo Selecta. He did say, please don't say f or b And that ended up with me being harassed by kids uh, on the train, in the streets, anywhere, just shouting at me. Um, um, so actually, you saying please don't swear is very nice. It's a welcome addition. Right. So the lockdown has been such a pain, but obviously it's so amazing to see you. I've missed you. I know everybody at home has missed you and you're looking fantastic, obviously. Goes without right. saying. Are you missing us? Oh, my God, so much. I mean, like, even just seeing the little intro there where I arrived and there were lots of women and we had such a laugh and just the idea of 400 people in a room together and the collective energy that we have at those events is so exciting. But I just feel like I've always taken it for granted. I miss that kind of, especially women coming together to do something lovely, the energy and the power. I mean, you know, Jordan, you've been there. is so good, but I miss it so terribly and I think next year is going to be mega. I am bringing it next year. Should I be You're scared? You're going to be there next year, right? Yeah, but should I be a little bit scared or? Yes, always. Oh. You should always be scared. You should always be on your guard in our female events. I've told you this before, <laughs> Jordan. So for those who don't... your life. Uh, well... We have to chaperone you everywhere. I do remember that, actually. I remember you were saying, don't go anywhere alone. So... <laughs> But we're here, we're here. So normally Action would be putting on ladies' events in Scotland, Southampton at this time of year, but like so many others, they've been cancelled due to the pandemic. But still, that didn't stop the ladies of the Aberdeen Killer Heels and Cocktails Committee from having such a good time. They decided to change up a little bit and they did Killer Heels and Comfies instead. Check out their pictures. Oh, let's have a look. <laughs> oh, I love, oh, ladies, Killer Heels in the gym. I'm feeling that so much. That's got to um, make that, leg day hard, right? Surely. That, that's got to make a leg day hard. But I, I would imagine like that it would be quite good as well. The balance, there'd be a lot of core included in there. Kind of wish I had my comfies on. <laughs> that's true. That's true. I'm, wait a minute. You're saying you wish you had your comfies on. This is like a Zoom call situation here. No. I don't, I don't trust. No. No. Oh, no, she's gone full. She's gone full in. Fair play. <laughs> full, full, full in. We've got no slippers I mean, on, nothing. No, no, no slippers here. I'm, I, well, I have got my glasses on, but it's so I can see your lovely face properly clearly because I've got to that age. Right, OK. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have to sit so far away from the screen. No, um, we like how close you are. We like it. So we're going to give some shout outs to some of the people watching. We've got Carol and the girls at Firefly, Julie Harrison at the White House and the staff at Paladone Insurance. Kerry and her colleagues also at Enable Law. So um, yes, people. and what we want to know is um, where are you watching from? What are you doing? What are you drinking? Who are you with? Like, let us know and um, we'll say hi. 
Absolutely. Um, we have asked the viewers to send loads of questions in, and we'll get to those in a little bit. But in the meantime, we want to know, what have you been up to? Well, oh my God. I mean, so much has happened to all of us, hasn't it, since the last time we saw each other. And um, lockdown one happened, and I was with my three children. And I guess... Um, in retrospect, I can look back now and, and think that that was a blessing. It was an amazing time to have with my children. Although at the end of it, I thought I never want to cook another meal again. And I, you know, I, I, I mean, I had such shouty moments at my kids sometimes. And it was usually about clearing up, you know, just having three teenagers in your house all the time or about learning online. I just thought I was the worst parent ever. And I did share it one day on Instagram because I was like, I've just screamed and then cried. And now I just feel like a terrible person. And somebody sent me a very funny thing about um, a quokka, um, which is an animal. And apparently it raises its children and then tries to kill them. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't feel so bad at all now. I'm <laughs> acing at parenthood. This is going to be fine. So I, I am... Um, and then kind of summer, we got lulled into a full sense of security. And then I guess for me, I found the second lockdown almost emotionally harder to get my head around than the first. It was weird. The first one seemed national, no problem. We all knew we had to do it. We were all terrified. And then the second one's been really, I don't know, hard, very hard on kids. I don't know if like I know lots of women that are going to be watching lots of their kids are going to be struggling a lot of kids having really tough mental health problems at the moment so it's just basically my year's been just trying to navigate my family and their friends and like my friends and all of us just trying to kind of come together to support each other through it it's like you know and I, I my heart goes out and my arms go out and like with enormous love to anybody that's watching, because I know a lot of you will have suffered a lot in this lockdown, these two lockdowns. And I'm just sending you all a lot of love. Of course, we're all in this together. And uh, yeah. like you say, there's a massive virtual hug coming from Davina to all you ladies at home. Um, so Davina, talking about Action Medical Research, like I was earlier, you've been involved mm. with the charity for a long time now. Um, yes, I mean- What does oh it mean God, to you? <laughs> been raising money for action since I was nine years old and that is many many moons ago and it means a lot and obviously becoming a mother um you know I mean I've always wanted to work for them because my my grandmother brought me to this charity and so I had a personal attachment to it but obviously they do so much work with fetal medicine and um childhood illnesses and I, I becoming a mother made that so much more important for me and also I was a prem baby um, so that's been important. But obviously this year has been a very different year for action. And I just wanted to show a film to highlight uh, what the charity has been going through and working on. Our mission to save children's lives began nearly 70 years ago when the UK faced a deadly disease, polio. Breathing muscles could be paralysed and many people were confined to iron lungs to survive. We helped beat polio through funding research to help develop the first vaccines in the UK, which have kept millions of children safe. Since then, our research has helped prevent stillbirths, fight meningitis and develop ultrasound scanning in pregnancy. Now, we face another health crisis, COVID-19, and once again, we're ready to power research to help children. COVID-19 can make some children very ill and some children have lost their lives. The long-term mental health effects on children of the pandemic are unknown. We want to help protect children as we have done for 70 years by funding research for children in the fight against COVID-19 but we can only do this with your help. Now we're really pleased we can help the charity tonight through many causes and many means with the star prize draw, the auction, but also we have a text to donate service. So to donate 20 pounds, just text Davina 20 to 70085. 
to donate £10, text Davina 10 to 70085. And of course, to donate £5, you got it, text Davina 5 to 70085. Test a little bit Texts cost the donation amount plus one standard network rate message. Thank you. Now, Davina, let's have a look at these questions and comments and see if we can answer a few for the viewers that are back at home. I'm sure that hey. there's so much they want to say, so much fun, but we've got a couple of them now. Right. First of all, Andrea yeah. from Kent says, did you ever think that Big Brother would be so popular? Oh, listen, can you hear that? Yeah, what was that? Can you hear that? That is my dog. <laughs> um, oh, we're, we're on gonna, the move now. What's wrong? Look, look. There we go. Oh, hello. <laughs> so she's, 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 uh, do you want to go outside? She's, do you know, all the ladies will be able to relate to this. Um, Holly, um, my lovely daughter Holly's there. She's going to help me with the dog. Um, uh, that she's bow is menopausal. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. Uh, you, you're um, telling me like I need to relate to that, so, right? Yeah, but the ladies, I know okay, the ladies good. will be able to relate to that. I know the ladies will. Anyway, Big Brother, yeah. they sent me a tape, right, of um, the show when it was um, on in Holland, and. Um, they said, watch this, we, we might quite like to get you to present it um, in the UK. So I was like, oh, okay, great. And I watched it and it was a guy and a girl and they were getting very close. And I was thinking, what am I watching? And I could see that it was unscripted. I could see that it was uh, in a house with lots of other people. I could see that they couldn't see where the cameras were. I did think, oh, there's something in this because this is unmissable telly. I want to watch it again. I want to know what happens. I want to know... Um, did they did they stay going out? What went on after? So from that, I thought I need to host this show. I know it's going to be a corker. Yeah, and it really was. It all really these, was. All yeah. these years later, like everyone still <laughs> refers to it. It was so much fun. Now, guys, just remember to send in any comments. Just make sure you use the chat button below and uh, we'll all get on to some of those as well. Right. I've got another question for you, Davina. It's not from oh, yeah, me. Great. It's from Leah in Bath. She wants to know, do you really dye your own hair? Okay, so everybody asks me this and nobody believes me. So I'm gonna probably tell Leah and she'll go, I don't believe you. But I have just tonight done an Instagram live. Um, me and Holly Willoughby um, are both ambassadors for Garnier. We have been like forever. I mean, I have been for, I think about 16 years. I've been an ambassador for them. And the great news is that the greyer I go, the more Garnier like me, which is great because I'm advertising a hair color that covers grays immediately and, and brilliantly. And if you go on my Instagram, you can see me and Holly doing a coloring together live. So I did it tonight. I had so much gray hair, I can't even begin to tell you, all gone and I did it all myself. Thanks There's your question. Much. There's your question answered. How about that? Right, we've got one more here. Um, Philippa okay. Poppet. She says, hi D. If you had to pick a soundtrack to your life, oh, I like this question. If you had to pick oh. a soundtrack to your life, what would it be and why? And then she says, love you, with a few kisses. Uh, do you know, I know Philippa. Um, I've known her since she was a very young girl. Um, we've sort of met via Twitter and, um, and she's been to this event. Um, she came last year with her granny and, um, maybe it was two years ago yeah two years ago with her granny such a sweet woman um and she sadly passed away this year so i love philippa a lot um and so yes soundtrack to my life it would be several it's not an album it would be several um different songs and it would be songs from all different eras of my life so there'd be like a house music track in there something like david joseph you can't you can't hide your love like that's a bit more disco soul but something like that There'd be a Kate Bush track in there because from the album Hounds of Love, any track from the album Hounds of Love, my absolute favourite. I mean, Coldplay, I'm so loving Coldplay at the moment. Love the Arctic Monkeys, love Rufus Wainwright, love David Gray. You know, there's so many tracks that I love, but it's a very varied and very broad kind of spectrum of music. I love all music. Depending on the vibe. Blue would be in there, Jordan. Of course. But only sung by you. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. I won't tell him you said that. 
Okay, right, we've got, actually, I'm going to do one more question here because this is a lovely yeah. one. Sonia and Danielle from Waterlooville say, we miss you, Davina. How's your daddy doing? Oh, hi, Sonia. Hi, Danielle. Um, <coughs> my dad's okay. You know, I mean, my mum, um, Gabby, is doing the most amazing job taking care of him um, in lockdown. It's been very, 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 very tough on her. My dad is um, has Alzheimer's. I don't know if all of you know, um, but he's sort of unaware of um, things that he's not well anymore. He, he doesn't really know that. And he does know who I am. He recognizes me, but he doesn't really know that I'm his daughter. But he is still physically fit, which is what's amazing. So he can still walk. And you know my dad, like lots of you have met my dad. He's such a positive person and he has such amazing energy and that hasn't gone anywhere. So he loves people. So that's been a big problem in lockdown. We, he couldn't really go out too much because every time he saw somebody, he wanted to shake, oh. Oh, he wanted to shake their hand and say hello. Um, and so we had to kind of keep him away from people. We had to keep showing him how to like salute. It's no dad, salute. Um, <laughs> but I'm gonna go and spend Christmas with them this year. I'm really excited about it. And I'm going down there on Christmas Eve and then I'm going to wake up on Christmas Day with them. I'm going to take a COVID test so I can go and, um, and go be with them. That's lovely. I, yeah, I can vouch for that. I've met your dad a couple of times and he's <laughs> such a gentleman and I can't imagine him not wanting to shake your hand. He's such a perfect gentleman. Yeah, so it must have been really hard for him. Um, now, just going to change topic just slightly. You've recently launched a YouTube channel, which um, is so good. Tell us a little bit more about that. What's going on? Um, well, it's a YouTube channel just called Davina McCall, but basically what I want to do is fly the flag for anybody, um, you know, kind of 40, 45 plus who just wants to live their best life. And I'm including myself in that. I want to live my best life. I've got no idea how to do it. I am finding out how. I've got kind of everything from going out shopping with my daughter and buying outfits that really a woman of my age shouldn't buy and just buying them anyway and trying them on and seeing what they look like to makeup tips to what um what what does two days in my life work look like what does a week's exercise look like what does you know just how to just stuff about my life but it's all relevant to women I want to talk to women um around my age in midlife and um, and hear how they do it and tell people how I'm doing it and for us to all help each other. I love it. Life. Sounds yeah, really it's cool. Good. I love, I love, I love, 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 love doing it. Awesome. And that's the main thing. Now, I remember a couple of years ago, I don't know if you're going to remember this, we were sat chatting and you said that you found this button that nobody else really has on Instagram. Do you remember what it's called? And it's the something it button. I don't want to say it out loud. And yes. yeah, and you po you just you still live your life by that mantra and you just post. Yes. Yeah, you're like, do you know what? I don't care. Yes. Yes. I mean, I I do tend to like. I, tr I try not to filter myself too much because. That's not really being authentic at the same time. I don't want to get myself into too much trouble, but I don't like to think that my views are that extreme or that weird. But um, I do just feel like I want to break out. And the older I get, I want to break out more. And God help me, the lockdown has made me want to go out clubbing. I want to hug everybody. I want to talk to everybody. I don't know if anybody else has felt like this. I mean, I only used to go clubbing once a year and I used to have to take three weeks off to get over it. I literally feel like I'm going to get, I'm going to start a club night somewhere and go every week. I, I need to break out. Um, and I'm pretty sure the rest of, well, all the women that are watching will need to do that too. I think we are all desperate to, I don't know, release. I feel something. like next year is going to be a mad one for Diamond Davina. Yeah, it is. So <laughs> right, I think it's time that we have a look at some of the pictures that you guys at home have been sending in. Let's have a look. Right, we've got one from is Lindsay991. Oh, I love it, Lindsay. Look at this. Oh my God, she's got gin in hand. Right, look. Bake Off on record, blanket 
on, <laughs> dinner cooking, gin in hand. I'm ready and waiting for Davina's night in and Action Medical Research. Now, guys, I don't know if you know, it's actually, it's the Bake Off final tonight and she's full it's on recorded not. that for us. That's amazing, right? Lindsay's dedicated. I just need to have a chat with her because I'm not sure that Lindsay's gin is quite big enough. <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> I'm sure. Right, She's wait, still when like is a she... gallon of gin. <laughs> right, she sent that in 10 minutes ago. I'm going to make a massive call now and say that she's on another gin now. Definitely. I love that. Love it. Go, go, Lindsay. <laughs> Let's have a look at another one. Have we got any more for the guys? Oh, guys, also at home, make sure that your settings are on public so that we can see what you're sending into us. Right, we've got Jade now. Makeup is off, pajamas are on, gin in hand. Whoa, 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 there's a theme here. Gin in hand a theme. and chocolate within arm's reach. Oh, I like that one. I'm ready for the ultimate girls' night in with the wonderful Davina McCall for Action oh. Medical Research. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. There is a definite theme yeah. of a pint yeah. of gin. <laughs> They're not going like a little gin. It's a gin in no. hand. It's like a tumbler. I love it. But can I just say, Jordan, those are my girls. Yeah, they are. They are. And this is why I'm not safe at these events. <laughs> So, because, you know, it is what it is. And last time, <laughs> you had to leave and you left me with all of these ladies. I did, I did. I'm really sorry. Thanks for all the support. Yeah, I'm really, really sorry about that. Not good enough, is it? Never mind, never mind. Right then. So, we're going to have a little look now at the auction. Let's see how the auction's getting on, guys. Oh, yeah, how's that going? Oh, great. Amazing. We've got funds raised so far of £2,825, which is absolutely fantastic. Wow, that's so good, amazing. Guys. Right, now, Davina, I don't know if you know this, but I haven't robbed it from you. You can tell everybody, yeah. vouch for me at home. Yeah. Do you recognise oh, this dress? I do. Yeah? Tell us a little so bit about that dress, it. Um, that dress is the dress that I wore at the Pride of Britain last year. I was presenting with Rylan. And um, we, uh, I went in this dress and it's designed by um, a label called Vampire's Wife. And Vampire's Wife is a very shishi label. Um, you can look them up. It was started by a supermodel called Susie Bick and she is married to the amazing Nick Cave. That is incredible. It's a, it's a really, really cool brand. And it's like, a, it's kind of like a velvet and I love it because it's very demure, but it's also really sexy. Um, and it's a size, it, I think it says inside it's a size eight, but I'm a size 10. So there's no way um, it could be a size eight. If you're a size 10, you will definitely get in that dress. Um, but I really enjoyed wearing it. And it's a, like a showstopper of a pattern and everything. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Let's see how it's getting on at the minute. Davina's dress is up to £250, guys. So there's still plenty of time to bid on that. But let me just tell you, it's worth £1,500. Absolute bargain. Yeah. Get on it, guys. What are you yeah. waiting for? Come on. And I've only worn it once. Yeah, I can tell. It doesn't smell. <laughs> Actually, it smells so nice. It smells just like Davina. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's lovely. Absolutely fantastic. And also, Davina, um, do you yes. recognise these shoes? I do, those are mine. So um, these are, um, look, you can see they've hardly been worn um, and they are Manolo Blahnix. They are my killer heels and they are his most classic shape. They are a hot pink suede. Um, they go with sort of everything. I mean, pink and red look amazing. Obviously with a black kind of capri pant and a black polo neck jumper, amazing. They are just, a must have. And guess shoe. what, Davina? That what? The bid at the moment is on £125. So, again, people, you're going to get yourselves a bargain if you get on That's these. It's a huge bargain. They are worth at least 500 quid, 600 quid. Exactly. And just in time for Christmas, it's about like treat yourself. Right? Just treat yourself. Treat yourself. You're it's worth been one it. of those years, right? You've just got to. In... It really has. Life's too short. It. Treat yourself. Right then, too guys, short. we have got a very, very, very famous bear joining us. It's Paddington. He's been Action Medical Research's famous supporter for over 45 years. And this bear even has his welly signed by Davina. 
It was signed by me. I love Paddington. He's so cute, right? And also, so, we've got a diamond pendant. Um, it would make a wonderful gift to yourselves, ladies. Not like I'm not saying buy it and gift it to someone else. Just gift yourself. Just enjoy it, yes. right? Um, and because you do deserve a little bit of an extra treat this Christmas. It's absolutely stunning. Um, that's just here for you. And we've got some fabulous things to bid on. In fact, Davina, I think someone left a little message earlier on. Um, should we have a look and see who that was? Oh, yes. Hi, Davina and hi, Jordan. And welcome, everybody, to uh, Davina's Big Night In. It's so glad to have you all in attendance for what is going to be a fabulous evening. And, of course, all the proceeds tonight will go to Action Medical Research, an absolutely fantastic charity who do extraordinary things. Uh, my name's Sean Williamson. Uh, I was Barry in EastEnders. Uh, I was Barry in Ricky Gervais Extras. And I'll be Barry in anything anyone's willing to pay me to be Barry in, basically. Um, so, why am I uh, here tonight? Well, as you know, tonight there is going to be a, an auction. It's a silent auction. And I have put something into the auction. It's a book called A Matter of Facts. And it's my autobiography, but it's told through the world of quizzing. I've always been a bit of a quiz freak. I've always enjoyed it. I've managed to win Celebrity Mastermind and The Chase and Pointless and things like that. So I joined the big boys and girls in, in the big quiz league and uh, uh, dipped my toe in the water to see how I'd get on in the British and World Championships and quizzes like that. But also each chapter contains big chunks of autobiography. There's the story of EastEnders and my time in the Navy and etc, etc. So that's in the auction tonight. I think the auction closes at 10pm. So please bid generously. Uh, if you're not into it, I'm, I'm sure you can give it to someone uh, as a Christmas present who, who loves their quizzing. So uh, as I say, all, all Action Medical Research, that's what it's all about tonight. And thank you, uh, Davina, Jordan, Keep up the good work, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. What a legend. Oh, I, I love him. I mean, he really is a legend. And in the extras, he is hilarious. Have you ever seen extras? I have. I have. Oh, he's, he's so good. So good. He's so good in it. And I love that when he said, I'll just be Barry for anyone. Yeah. Like, because he'll always be Barry to us. Like, I know always. he's Sean. Sure, I've worked with him a couple of times, but he's, it's so hard to not be like, hey, Barry. It's so hard. And he's a very, he's a very, very nice person. And also that quiz, I mean, I think that um, one of the things that has really flourished in this uh, lockdown society, and that is quizzing. I mean, the number of quizzes and um, Zoom quizzes I've been on, um, it's not even funny. So <laughs> quizzing's become like a nation obsession. Yeah, we're, we're, we're a nation of very competitive people. I think that's what it is. Um, but he's right. The auction's open till 10 p.m. And make sure you take a peek. And if you do get outbid, it doesn't matter because you'll get a notification and there's plenty more time to bid again. Just go to the link on the web page or go to jumblebee.co.uk forward slash Davina. You guys should know this by now. I keep repeating myself, but you know it. Keep just repeating. Get on it. I will. I'm just going to keep going on. So just I like the sound it. of my own voice. We're going to carry on. Anyway, I want to let everybody know about the amazing star prize draw that we've got for you guys tonight. The top prize is a designer bag of your choice worth up to the value of £1,000. Okay. Uh, excuse me, I might be having to get some tickets for that myself. I think you should. I think you should. Right, there's also some other great prices, including a year's supply of Garnier face masks, an overnight stay at the Grand Harbour Hotel in Southampton, and tickets are only £10 each. And you can buy as many as you want, and it stops at midday tomorrow. So, guys, even if you've had a few too many gins tonight, set a reminder on your phone, <laughs> get up tomorrow and get bid in. So it's fine. Right, and just like the auction, you can find these on our webpage or go to jumblebee.co.uk forward slash Davina. You guys know this by now. So this is probably a good time for us to say thank you to a few people. What do you reckon? Yes, definitely. Let's do that. Right, this year has been so hard and we know that. It's been so hard on so many people. Um, but we've been lucky enough to have some amazing supporters and they've really helped us pull everything together to make tonight happen for you guys at home. So... Without further ado, I want to say a big thank you to Clownfish for doing all the technical wizardry that goes way over my head. And the guys here are absolutely fantastic. I can, uh, I can really say that. And also, Neon and Blush for making the room look just stunning uh -huh. tonight. And of course, Next for making all of this possible. Thank you guys so much. And also, I'd quickly like to say thank you to everybody behind the scenes at Action. You know, they work so tirelessly. This has been an unbelievably hard year for action as a charity 
Um, obviously, all our huge fundraising events we've had to cancel. We, we know that this is the right thing to do to keep everybody safe, but it's had a huge impact on the charity. And they have worked so, so, so hard to um, keep it going and um, to, to keep that research funded and to, to sort of keep the work that Action does alive. So thank you to all of you that work so hard and all of the volunteers, you're all amazing, thank you. Yeah, we all echo that. Let's have a big round of applause for the guys. <laughs> to, those, uh, to those of you wondering who all the whooping and cheering is, it's, um, it's just our crew. So like we've not got, if you're like, wait a minute, where was my invite? It's just our crew. So there's not room for you all. We wish there was, we really do. Um, now guys, on a more serious note, even though the pandemic has focused everybody's attention this year, um, Action Medical Research really do need your help um, to keep going. And of course, their work still continues throughout the pandemic. Um, and I'd like to show you a short film now about a young boy named Jack. We got to, to 25 weeks and I started bleeding. I thought I was having a miscarriage. They decided then that I was in labour. And so they decided to do a C-section. Jack was born at 25 weeks plus two days. When I came round, do you expect to have your baby with you? But of course he wasn't there. He wasn't next to us. He was in the incubator. We put long lines in um, to feed him intravenously. He was immediately put on oxygen. I couldn't hold him. He was so delicate. They'd obviously done scans, they did ultrasound, and that's when they identified that he had got an issue. The nurses started then talking about neck and then we started to understand a bit more how serious it was. So necrotizing enterocolitis or neck is a infection or inflammation of the bowel. Neck happens so suddenly that babies can go from being very well to very ill and sadly sometimes dying within a very short space of time. They took a tiny piece of the bowel out he didn't feed, his tummy was bloated still, and it was at that point that they said, you know, if it doesn't improve, then we will stop care. Um, and effectively, we were told that you won't take your son home alive. I didn't go and see him very much in those first few days, because I didn't know if he would survive, and I didn't want to become attached. Two weeks past his due date that we managed to bring him home. As a result of the preterm birth and the neck, he ended up with chronic lung disease. He had speech delay, he had developmental delay, and we had um, a diagnosis of mild cerebral palsy. At home, we need to do physio. We also have to spend quite a lot of time with him on his writing and his reading. I see the differences, but he doesn't, and that to me is a that's really good. So it's thought that neck is caused by an overreaction or overstimulation of the immune response and inflammation in the colon. What we're trying to do is find bacterial viruses, otherly known as bacteriophages, in breast milk that may protect or prevent neck downstream. So with the Action Medical Research funding, it's allowing us to survey lots of breast milk samples for these bacterial viruses. Then we can start to map those viruses versus what's protected and what's not. Life after preterm birth, I think it's, it's a very difficult time for families. So the best outcome for this research would be that we would be able to prevent neck. If you're considering putting money into Action Medical Research and supporting them as a, as a charity, don't hesitate to do it. Without that research, children like my, my little boy Jack they may not be here. As you can see, it's so important that we support Jack and families struggling with prem babies and all the problems 
that can arise from a baby being born too soon. And I mean, God, it was heartbreaking, wasn't it? When Jack's mum said, I didn't go and see him in those early days. You know, because she thought she just was going to lose him and she didn't want to become too attached. You know, but that's that's why we're here. That's why we're here tonight, so that we can help other families that may be facing um, that terrible, terrible illness, which comes on so suddenly um, in the future going forward. So anything that you can give tonight, you're amazing and thank you for being here. And I know it's weird and we're all on Zoom and it's such an odd situation, isn't it? But anything that you can donate, if it's part of the star prize draw or, you know, just get your phone and call um, text 70085, you can donate there. I know that Jordan's gonna give you all the details there um, in a minute and they're gonna be up on your screen, but just anything you can give at all I know it's been a hard year for all of you um, and we really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. Echo that, Davina. Um, so touching. But there's not just Jack, there's so many more that need our help. So remember, the text donate service. Text Davina20 to donate £20 to 70085. Text Davina10 to donate £10 to 70085. And of course, Davina5 to donate five pounds to 70085. Text cost the donation plus one standard network rate message. Okay, so let's carry on with our chat, Davina. Um, please do keep sending those donations in while we're doing so. Davina, let everybody at home know what's coming up for you. Yes, um, I'd quickly like to apologize that that was my son FaceTiming me there. Um, so if I disappear again, I've put my phone on airplane mode, but I'm on my computer and I can't put that on airplane mode. And so he's still, he'll try any avenue to get through. Um, but, um, yeah, so what have I got coming up? You know, it's weird in this, in this lockdown, um, I have been permitted legally to carry on working. So that's been kind of amazing. So I've done more long lost family and long lost family this season has been so intense Jordan because you know that whole idea of reuniting people um, and bringing families together just has like a whole nother level of meaning I think and we have done reunions in Long Lost Family on this series the ones that we did in at the end of the first lockdown we had to reunite parents with children that had never met or they'd met at birth obviously and they couldn't touch and it was so amazing because they just look at each other or into each other's eyes and then be just communicating that love, but without human touch. And then latterly, just recently, because there have been some good new COVID test advancements and we've been able to test contributors and then they've been able to hug on the day. And even seeing two people hug, it's so rare. It just makes me just blub every time it happens. So that's been amazing. I've done that. And... Um, I've done a couple of pilots, which is exciting. I did one for an American TV station, which is quite exciting. Um, so yes, lots coming up. I mean, I've got, um, I do a podcast with my boyfriend who is um, called Michael Douglas, which is quite funny. And Apple, who um, our podcast is on Apple Podcasts and it's on Spotify and it's on all the usual places, but it's on Apple as well. And Apple must have a piece of artificial intelligence that has kind of filled in with photographs of the people who do the podcast. And when you look up our podcast, which is called Making the Cut, it's a picture of me and Michael Douglas, the actor. <laughs> 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 and they clearly haven't done their research. And I was like, someone's got to talk to somebody. I have sent a message to a friend of mine that works at Apple going, could you just have a word with anyone? Could they possibly change it? It looks a bit weird that I'm doing some podcast about consumer consumer goods and what you should and shouldn't buy. And I'm doing it with Michael Douglas. <laughs> um, so I'll be doing more of that and lots more of my YouTube channel next year. So I'm, you know, those are the things that I'm really excited about at the moment. I'm really enjoying that. Amazing. We're really excited too as well, because that sounds super fun. Um, I have actually listened to the podcast a couple of times. I love it. Have really you? Cool. Yeah. I love a podcast 
because it's oh, like when you? you're driving sometimes like you're just bored of the radio yes. bored of everything else i just love whacking a podcast on i thought and it's you definitely... keep coming up and i was like i can't get away from you sorry it's fine so many comments coming in we've got bridget from kent she says divina what do you think about the fact that for the first time in history women can join the tour de france i did not know that um that is big news um i do feel like the tour de france is um a race uh, that is something that a woman and a man could do at the same time. There are certain things like, you know, rugby possibly where it is brute strength, where if you had a mixed team or men played against women, um, that just because of brute strength, the men would have an advantage. But I think in the Tour de France, I think it would be quite level pegging. I think women could absolutely smash it um, that's exciting. It's really good, right? It shows yeah. that we're moving in the right direction. I completely agree. Yeah, totally. So, oh, we've got... Thank you, Jordan, for that support. That's all right. Yeah. No, I completely agree. I completely yeah. agree. We've got so many comments coming in. Uh, let's see who have we got now. We've got a couple of people just saying hi. We've got um, Wendy says, hey, Davina. We've got hi, Shona Wendy. who says hello. Oh, and hi, Lee, Shona. you know Lee Collier, the Diamond Davina photographer? Aww. We miss him this year. Can we just year. quickly talk about Lee? He says he misses you guys. We definitely need to thank Lee very quickly. Of course we do. Lee, Lee takes photographs at our event. Anybody that's been to our event, you can um, buy a photograph of me and all of you and your table and everything, and the money goes to the charity. And Lee does it every year for free. But not only that, he takes part in everything that he can. He does photographs of everything. We do a bike ride in Sussex every year. He takes photographs of that and he does it all for free at the kindness of his heart. He's such a giving and loving person. And we just want to thank you, Lee. You, you really are amazing. Thank you. Davina, you're going to love this one. Um, so I've got yeah. to just read what everything's coming in. And I've got <laughs> <laughs> my mum and stepdad of texting saying we're watching Jordan and Davina having a cheeky Peroni. So not a gin, they're not a, a conforming. But uh, yeah. Stu actually is, Stu and I did a 100 mile charity bike ride earlier this year. And um, yeah, maybe we'll join you and Lee next year for the Sussex one with action. That'd yes. be amazing. Oh, yeah, well, we'd we've love got that. it, right? So yeah, that would be so much fun. And um, yeah. yeah, we'd love that. So basically, do you think your mum would join in as well? No, absolutely not. She'll watch. She'll be she'll be with with a Peroni on the sideline. She, there's no she way can, she can it. have like she can have teas and everything ready for you when you cross the line. Teas and Vaseline. Teas and Vaseline. Exactly. We've all been there. It's savage, isn't it? <laughs> right. So yeah, that's so much fun. I can't, you know what? It's like when you're you're doing something. It's like hi, mum. It just seems so embarrassing, but bless her. I hope she didn't mind the euphemisms before. She Feel yeah, a bit... like she's been to my gigs. She's used to it. Oh, okay, it's fine. fine, it's fine. Right, who have we got next? Susanna, we've got Susanna is saying, um, one second, let's see what Susanna's saying. It's just loading up. This is, this is what I mean, it's the magic of television, right? This is lovely, but can I just quickly say, Jordan, while, while we're waiting for Susanna to load up. Yes. Um, it sounds like something out of a Quentin Tarantino movie. <laughs> that, no? Susanna's loading up. Um, that you're doing a very, very good job. Oh, thank because you. You know, obviously, there's no auto cue or anything. You're like getting all the information out, and also, um, you're very good at ad libbing. Well Thank done. you very much. I appreciate it. I learn from the best, right? <laughs> so, Susanna has loaded up now, um, and she says, Yay. I love your enthusiasm for life, but one thing I'd love to know why are you always so loud when you're excited? Isn't everybody? I think I, I, I thought that was weird, right? Because we are. Isn't everybody? Yeah. I mean, I. I do, I, I think actually, Susanna, I've got a really good explanation um, for that, that the McCall family, um, my grandfather's um, catchphrase when I was a young girl growing up was to my grandmother, um, could you please reduce your voice to a loud shriek? <laughs> and, um, and basically, in order for any of us to get heard over the hubbub, we'd all just shout louder. And I think that's that. But one of the really big things um, was with Big Brother in the first couple of series, I used to shout a lot when I did that. 
because there were a thousand people there and I didn't understand that the microphone was here and it could hear everything <laughs> that I was saying. I just, all I could hear was like screaming and I felt like I had to kind of shout over the noise. Um, and then I got shouty Davina from that. But I, I'm sorry if you think I'm shouting tonight. I don't think I'm shouting. I just project, I get excited. Yeah, God, Davina, calm thinking. down. Stop shouting. I've gone, I've gone beyond the point of caring. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. It's that button we were talking about, right? It's the button. Yeah, I'm not saying it. Don't say it. I'm not saying it. It's the <laughs> button. She said it. I said it. She was always going to say it. I was just waiting. I was just I'm waiting. It was a matter of time. Right, OK, let's have a look at Instagram now. Let's see what everybody's sending in. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, that's from Twinkle, is it? Yes, it is. Oh. Paddington, Froggy, Janine. Caroline and myself. Janine always makes me cry. She's like, she is somebody that I've met online. She comes every year to our event and she has been my number one biggest fan ever, um, along with Dan. And she has been so supportive of me. Um, but she, one, of, one of the froggies is um, sort of in memory of my sister, and um, which is very, very sweet. But she's been so supportive of everything I've ever done. This event, she does posts for it and always retweets and remets. I mean, she's amazing. She is amazing. That's lovely. So sweet. That is so Probably cute. We love that. Mind. Well, mm -hmm. hi, guys. Thank you very much for sending your photos in. We've got another one. We've got another one to see. Let's have a look. Oh, we've got oh, Marie yeah. P. Ladies' night in with the fabulous Davina McCall. Davina's night in. Action Medical Research. Oh, that's amazing. She's tagged two of her friends in as well. Ching I Ching. Are you on? What are you on, girls? The Prosecco's, I think it is. Marie and Blondie Bear. Yeah. They're loving life. I love that. Life. Good girls. Well done. That's a proper girls' night in, isn't it? <laughs> loving it. Absolutely loving it. So guys, yeah, make sure you keep sending those bits in and make sure you are on public so that we can see them all when they come through because uh, we enjoy, that's what we're getting back from it. We enjoy seeing you guys having fun and make sure you carry on texting in and, uh, and donating while you are enjoying your Prosecco. The more you drink, maybe, you know, the better I'll sound later when I sing a couple of songs to you. So it's a win-win for everybody, right? Anyway, moving on. Davina, I understand that you have a friend that wants to say hello as well. Yes, um, I love this man. He's been such a long time supporter of this charity. It is, um, actually I need to say a bit more. He really, really has been fantastic to us. He's given a lot of his time and, um, um, and he's performed for us. He's just an absolute legend. It is of course, um, Tony Hadley. Whoop, whoop. Ooh, whoop. Hi guys. Hi Davina. Hi Jordan. Uh, great to see you. And, um, uh, Thanks so much for inviting us uh, to tonight's uh, fundraising event, All In Aid of Action Medical Research. Thanks for that, that's brilliant. Have you got some news for us, Tony? Yes, yes. Well, I'm, as um, some of you might know, um, that uh, I'm an ambassador for Action Medical Research, and along with myself, Davina, uh, we've, we've raised, well, I've tried to raise lots of money for this fantastic charity that researches into so many different things, into uh, premature births and young babies and young children, trying to discover new technologies and new medicines to help people out there. It's a brilliant, brilliant charity and I'm so proud to be involved. Um, now, we're going to announce uh, uh, shortly a one-off show in London next year, 2021. It'll all be distance and, you know, the, the usual thing, uh, but it's going to be a special show and so I'd like to donate uh, a couple of tickets and, and a meet and greet and some signed albums and uh, special messages to the prize draw, tonight's prize draw. And it's uh, to raise lots of money, lots of much needed funds for action medical research. So uh, please buy your tickets, get involved in the prize draw, and then we can meet up sometime next year at this one-off show in London. Thanks, Tony. That's amazing. So good. No, absolutely no honestly that no fantastic um great to be a part of this and uh and, and thank you for you guys getting involved as well don't forget prize draw lots of money lots of donations and have a brilliant brilliant evening uh thanks davina thanks jordan and see you soon take care bye bye take thanks, care thanks tony 
Love you, Tony. That was Love so you, Tony. cool. Oh. <laughs> so good to see the man himself. So guys, the link you need for Tony's special prize draw is on your screen right now. So check it out. It's jumblebee.co.uk slash Tony Hadley Raffle. Amazing. So as well as the main prize, the next 100 people drawn will actually receive a CD of Tony's latest album. <laughs> These guys are so good. They look like, so woo! Good. Love it, right? It's amazing. But guys, thank you so much for everybody that's doing everything they can to support Action Medical Research tonight and throughout the year. But remember, we don't stop now. You've got to get bored of me saying it, but to text to donate. So remember to donate 20 pounds, text Davina 20 to 70085. To donate 10 pounds, text Davina 10 to 70085. And to donate five pounds, text Davina 5 to 70085. Obviously, text costs donation amount plus one standard network rate message. Right, should we see if there's any more comments or questions for the last time before we have to love and leave you? Yes, definitely, bring it on. Okay, let's have a look. Laura says, how have you managed to keep motivated through lockdown? Do you know what, Laura? That's quite interesting because um, the first time round, I felt like I was keeping motivated in order to try and help the nation keep motivated. So um, I, I've got like my Own Your Goals platform, which is my fitness platform. I gave that away for free. I was really trying to encourage people to go there and use that um, for free during lockdown as much as they wanted because I know how much exercise helped my mental health. This second lockdown, I don't know why, I have really struggled to stay motivated myself. I mean, I'm busy working, but I always fit in exercise around my working. And this last fortnight, I have really, it's all gone by the wayside. I mean, I'm walking my dog and um, that is it. And I was so good in half term and suddenly I've just gone like to pot. So I too have moments of weakness, but really what drives me to stay motivated is what, what it does for my mental health. And in fact, how insipid it is when I don't exercise and how it, um, when I stop, it just feeds me not wanting to exercise even more. And the minute I start again, it starts the ball rolling. But when I, when I, when I do do exercise, it's an absolute no brainer. Like I know it makes me feel amazing. So that's how I kind of motivate myself. I know that in the long run, um, it's gonna make me feel better. Um, but sometimes I just wanted to say it, sometimes I struggle as well. Like I think people think that I just, sail through life but life is difficult sometimes it's ups and downs it swings and roundabouts it's struggles and then suddenly you find things easy it's a bit like your hormones yeah yeah <laughs> feel that i mean what <laughs> yeah. it's because we're looking at each other i like you say hormones you look at me i'm like i don't know what to say i look at you jordan and i go you know you know I mean, I, I completely empathise with the motivation thing because the first time round I was like so on it and this time round I'm like, oh, I'm done. It's Christmas soon, it's all out the window. You, do you know it's what I mean? Terrible, I'm like, I'll start it? next year in the third lockdown. Wait, wait. That's exactly it, that's <laughs> yeah. exactly what I was saying. New year, new me. It's like, I'm fitness queen, what are you doing? Like, get you together. But do you know what? Like, from a mental side, I think people are going to find it so comforting knowing that you go through the exact same things that everybody else does as well oh i hope so yeah 100 percent. and i i seek i seek help and motivation from uh, lots of people on instagram like i look at other people and i think oh well, look they're doing it i better do it of course you know gotta get up gotta do it gotta get out you will feel better but that is the truth that is the truth feel. so who have we got next? We say, Eilish says, love you, Davina. You're an inspiration to all women and absolutely wonderful in everything you do. That is so lovely. Oh, that's Isn't very, it? very nice. Thank you very much. Um, um, and I find so many of the women that I meet at that event so inspirational. I always leave there having been touched in some way. There are some ladies that have been going for the last 11 years and 
we've been through journeys, you know, some of them have been ill and got better, some of them have lost friends that used to come, some of them, have, you know, it's been really, I've, I'm inspired by all of you at that event, I love it. Alice from um, Shoreham says, oh, I like this one, Davina and Jordan are the best duo ever. Look at that, I like that. Look at that. Happy days. We, we'll be presenting this morning next. We will, we will, yeah, why not? Don't tell Holly and Phil, but it'd be fine. I know. <laughs> and Stu has replied saying he's well up for the charity ride in Sussex next year. So there we go. Anybody else oh, out there great. as well, get involved. Let's get doing as much as we can um, for action medical research um, because next year's the one, right? We all keep saying that, don't we? 2021, the one. it'll be fine. Next be year's fine. the one. Let's have a look back to Instagram and see what you ladies are getting up to at home. We've got... Oh, let's look. I want to see this. Sam, I think. Oh. Night in with Davina. Oh, look at them all on Zoom. That's so cool. Night right. in with Davina. Not our usual night out with her, but at least I don't need a taxi home tonight. I love that. Uh, Davina's exactly. night in. Glass and I love the fact that they're all together. Yeah, exactly. Right? That's what it's they all can about. They can see each other on the screen. I'm sure I saw like a massive gin yet again on that one as well. But let's have a look. Is there another Instagram we've got? Oh, look, oh, it's Lee. Lee. There he is. Sat watching oh. Davina for Action Medical Research, missing everyone next year. Oh, and he's told me I'm smashing it. That's so nice. He Thank really, you, really is, isn't he? <laughs> yes, you are, Jordan. Thank you, Davina. Really appreciate it. Thank, well, you, thank you so you much, everybody, for all of your thank comments you. and Instagrams. Um, there's so many, we actually physically can't show them all. Um, but I'm sure that Action are going to repost on all of their platforms. And Davina will get to see all of you girls enjoying yourself at home. But do you know what? There's always next year, and we're going to have an absolute blast. And Dying with it's Davina next year is going to be crazy. So, yeah, um, I'm going to bring a chaperone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. Bring, bring Stu. I will, I will, I will. So let's take a look now, guys, and see how the auction's getting on. Let's see what we're getting up to. Wow, we've jumped up again. £3,860 raised so far. It's doing so oh, well, guys. That's so great. It's incredible, right? Now, don't forget, the auction is going on until 10 p.m., so do keep bidding, and the web address is shown on the screen right now. So it's jumblebee.co.uk slash Davina. So cool. I can't believe how much money's being raised, and, like, we're just it's getting going. It's so, so great. I'm so pleased. So, guys, make and sure you keep texting. Donating. We've got to keep texting as well. And don't forget the um, Star Prize draw tickets are still available to buy until midday tomorrow. So if you have had too many gins tonight, you can just, like I said, set a reminder, get up and, you know, get going with that. That's absolutely incredible. Well done, guys. Davina, I'm so sad. It's almost time to say goodbye to you. But there is a little bit more time for the ladies to enjoy. Um, I'm going to sing a couple of songs for you guys tonight. Going to have a bit of a festive vibe. We're going to have some buble, a little bit of swing music as well. But Davina, it's been an absolute pleasure. We've missed you so much. Um, but oh, next year, we can't wait to I'm see you. I'm declining my son all over the place. My son is like, you said you were finishing at nine. I'm like, decline, decline. <laughs> Listen, I, I wanted to um, just quickly say, um, Jordan, thank you so much. Thank you to everybody that's donated tonight. I'm sure while Jordan's singing, they will put the numbers up um, for you to donate and the email address for you to um, get into the Star Prize and auction. So um, you can keep donating. Jordan, we love you. Thank you so much. Thank um, you. And I'll see you next year with your chaperone. Of course. I can't wait. So let's say goodbye, Davina. Thank you so much. You take care, stay safe, and we cannot wait to see you next year. There she was. Guys, don't go anywhere. Um, there's still a little bit more time for you guys to bid on the auction. Remember, we've got the star prize draw until midday tomorrow, and there's still some time for me to sing a couple of songs for you. So don't go anywhere. I'll be back in 20 seconds with you real soon. Thank you. You're just too good to be true 
Hinting my eyes out of you You've been like heaven to touch I want to hold you so much And long last love has arrived And I thank God I'm alive You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off of you Heart in the way that I stare There's nothing else to compare At the sight of you leaves me weak There are no words left to speak But if you feel like I feel Please let me know that it's real Darling, you're too good to be true Can't take my eyes off of you Just too good to be true I can't take my eyes off of you You make me feel like a touch I want to hold you so much At long last love has arrived And I thank God I'm alive Oh, you're too good to be true I can't take my eyes off of you hey I love you baby if it's quite all right I need you baby to warm the lonely night I love you baby trust in me when I say Let me love you hey. I love you, baby If it's quite alright I need you, baby To warm the lonely night Let me love you, baby Let me love you Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you. And let's have a bit of a uh, festive spirit now. What do we reckon, guys? Let's have some buble. Love you too. It's beginning to look a lot by Christmas Everywhere you go Take a look at the five and ten It's glistening once again With candy canes and silver lanes that glow It's beginning to look a lot by Christmas Toys in every store but the prettiest sight to see is the holly that will be on your own front door. A pair of hop-along boots and a pistol that shoots is the wish of Bonnie and Ben. Dolls that'll talk and will go for a walk is the hope of Janice and Jen. And mom and dad can hardly wait for school to start again. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you 
go There's a tree in the Grand Hotel One in the park as well It's the sturdy kind that doesn't mind the snow It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas As soon the bells will start And the thing that'll make them ring Is the carol that you sing Right within your heart Toys in every store But the prettiest sight to see Is the holly that will be On your own front door Sure, it's Christmas a more Thank you very much everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I've heard that there's a few ladies at home that have asked for one more song. Is that all right with you guys? <laughs> We're going to do another Christmas one. Oh, Bridget's asked for another song. It's apparently just one of you. But here you go, Bridget. <laughs> you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I am telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Making a list. He's checking it twice. He's gonna find out who's naughty or nice. Santa Claus is coming. To town. Hey. He sees you when you're sleeping And he knows when you're awake He knows if you've been bad or good So be good for goodness sake <laughs> You better watch out You better not cry You better not pout I am telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town. Hey! Make sure you keep donating, everybody. Those text numbers will be on your screen real soon. There you go. You better not cry, you better not pout, I am telling you why, Santa Claus is coming to town. You better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I am telling you why, Santa Claus is coming, I hear the big fat man with the long white beard. He's coming to town. Thank you very much, everybody. Stay safe. God bless. Thank you.